Hello, and welcome to a very special off-the-cuff run of the mill. We're coming in hot. We've got hot news. Here it comes at you. Episode of my Xbox and me. I am one of your hosts, MC Fixer, alongside the one and only Too Fresh Crash. What up, Crash? How you doing? Why do you amp up the dance every time? I feel like we've got a new viewership in, and I feel like they deserve to see me dance during the intro. Okay, I'll allow it. That's a great reasoning. Oh, thanks. I didn't expect that to work. Damn. Yeah, um, yeah. If you don't know what My Xbox and Me is, it's our weekly Xbox podcast here on YouTube.com slash My Xbox and Me, which you should all be subscribed to. We are so close to hitting 500 subscribers, like less than 10 away. So if you are watching this and you're not subscribed, go and subscribe to YouTube.com slash My Xbox and Me. Um, and you can get on podcast services such as Spotify, Apple, Google, and of course, all the other ones. You know them. You know where they are. You can find them we're there uh crash honestly i don't want to talk too much in the front here uh, you can get the show early over on patreon usually not today because this is super 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 n- big news literally i woke up to tweets fixer where are you fixer why are you not awake fixer what's going on and i'm like okay i look at my dms crash what's going on i'm like oh my <laughs> god crash what's going on yeah big news the xbox series x price revealed in quotes we don't quite know but what we do know is we've now seen the look of the xbox series no yeah the xbox series s we have a price for it and we have a look of it we know what it looks like we've seen the video um so what happened was i I generally don't know what actually happened because i was asleep but from my understanding it got leaked all this information has been leaked xbox have just come out now and confirmed the price and said they're going to give us more information soon just uh, how you feeling how you feeling right now i'm feeling good that's good yeah um i i wasn't expecting this this sort of came up out of nowhere i just look at my phone one second everybody's tweeting about the xbox series s and i'm like what's happening oh it's another leak and i'm like in my mind i saw that i'm like it's just another rumor somebody's like i found it at another store and this time it's 700 dollars or whatever yeah and uh no it was 300 it had a video attached all this stuff and then there were some sources saying like it's not fully confirmed they haven't set the price and then there were more insiders coming out like no that is the set price so it's just this thing that was kind of up in the air yeah it was for a while. It, i didn't believe it even when i woke up at first i was like oh whatever it's not yeah whatever okay whatever. yeah and then i was like oh wait windows central have confirmed it and all yeah. these other big people have confirmed it i'm like okay here we go here we go this is what this thing is we don't actually know the specs of the series x all we know is the price, but the the rumored specs, from my understanding of when we're recording this right now, so I'll give you the rundown. It is going to cost two hundred and ninety nine dollars. Don't know. We haven't yep. got a price in the UK yet, so we don't know what that is. Um, it doesn't have a disc tray. It does have an SSD. It does have a Zen two CPU. It does have an RDNA two GPU. It does have a. Uh, it has six. Uh, no, not six. We don't have a number yet. We have GDDR six RAM inside. And apparently, it will still run at 144p hertz at 60 frames per second. That's what what is the rumors going around right now. I don't know. Yep. We don't know. That's not confirmed. We are not confirming it. We have no insider information on this. If we did, I would tell you. I promise. Um, let's start with the price. I feel like that's the... As much as we've seen the first look at this damn thing, um, the price seems like the big, big, big news on this with it coming out that the... We're talking about the Series S first. $300, Crash. You are someone that hasn't been sold on the new console yet. Number yeah. one reason, because you haven't got a 4K TV slash monitor. Yep. How does this price set for you? How does that feel for you? Is that now a day one console for you with it being digital only? Which I know you're a digital only guy anyway, so... yeah. Yeah, that that doesn't bother me at all. It it basically guarantees it. I'm either getting it day one or like that opening window of when it launches, right? Go it on. is by the time next year hits, I will more than likely, unless some cra- something crazy happens, I will more than likely have the console. Yeah. Um. Either way, I'd rather wait on the Series X. I mentioned a few podcasts ago. I'd rather wait for the Gears console or whatever console they put out down the line. I'd rather get that. Um, but yeah, no, I the price I think is fantastic. We talked about it so many times, and every time I was on the negative side of like that would be great, 
I just don't see it happening. And to be fair, even when I first saw this, I was like, this doesn't that mean anything. Great, this is just another rumor. I don't rumor. think it's happening. And then literally yeah. Xbox have confirmed this on their Twitter account um, that it's coming out. So, and it is at that price point. So it's one of those things that I'm just like, I'm glad they have come out. The rumors are out there. They're like, oh no. And then they're like, you know what? Let's confirm it. Let's just confirm it. It's done. They've confirmed that it's out there. I'm more than happy with that. Yeah. Uh, did Did you see that they tweeted out a meme first? Yeah, I did. I did see the meme. I did see the meme. Which is again, it's smart. It's 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 that whole. Oh, okay. What do we do? Wait, how do we how do we do this? What do we do? F it. Let's just confirm that this is real. So we're not playing the whole silly game. What I think is smart. What they did do though is they didn't confirm the other rumor of the series x price which the rumor going around currently is that it's going to cost five hundred dollars i've been mm. saying from day one these consoles need to be that price 500 i said 350 but i'm glad it's even cheaper than that the 300 dollars is the perfect entry level for this new generation perfect yeah. like literally yeah. that means they're gonna have the uh, xbox one s S it is called an S, right? Yeah, it is an S. I series believe. S. No, 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 not the Series S. What's the the? Oh, the, Xbox One S. Yeah, the, the, S. the one Xbox I have, right? One S. Yeah, is the One S. Yeah. Which I think that will go down to about two hundred, maybe one hundred and fifty dollars. So you can still play a lot of this generation of games, but then the bump up from that is three hundred, which is to get you into the new generation of gaming, and then beyond that is five hundred dollars, which again. I've said from day one, if this thing launches at anything more than five hundred dollars, I am not buying You're it. You're not getting it. I am yeah. not buying it. At five hundred, I will buy it. So I'm really excited. I'm actually now yeah. finally getting excited for next gen. Which yeah. who would have thought it would take a release? We haven't got a release date. There is a, there is rumors for a release date, and we'll talk about that yeah. in a second. Um but who would have thought it'd take a release date and a and a price point for me to actually go, Oh, interesting. I still stand by what I've said day in, day out. I don't understand why we're buying these without a decent starting lineup, but I'm glad that it's not going to cost me an arm and a leg to at least get into this new generation um, of gaming with Xbox. Right. Um, yeah, no, I, I absolutely agree. Um, I, I think the rumored date is November 10th. I know when, like, the Windows Central article put out the price for the Series X and the, um, the date, so we'll see what Microsoft does with that. I don't think they'll budge on either of those i think that will end up being the date and the price i think it gives them leeway to maneuver with the price with the fact they've not confirmed it now they think they think they've got the cheapest console on the market with mm. the digital ps4 or ps5 being free say 350 maybe even 400 if that comes in at 400 now and then the xbox uh, the ps5 like all all bells and whistles not with the disc tray pretty much yeah. is 500 that that's an interesting place to be right yeah uh i definitely i would wonder what like what the difference between as far as sony goes the difference between the digital version and the actual version is like can the digital version do the 4k and everything because like we know that the rumor is that this won't be able the series s won't be able to do the uh 4k it yeah. goes up to 1080p um well 144p so, we think yeah um so we'll see we'll see what it ends up being we'll see how those goes how this goes it's really hard to tell like how this will affect what sony does until sony decides to make their move 100 percent, 100 percent. i'm 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 november 10th seems like a weird day a tuesday for a console release i thought mm. i thought we released consoles on fridays yeah it is it is weird and maybe it's because, hey, we're in weird times. Yeah. Where it's normally like it's the weekend, like, oh, somebody will take a long weekend off. They'll go, et cetera, et cetera. Um, maybe they're like, hey, more people are working from home, more people, et cetera, et cetera. Um, or maybe it's even less people are going to be going out. So it's more people will be ordering these online as opposed to going to their local stores to buy it. And everything. True. Yeah, very, very uh, true. Um, I am blown away by the price point i'm so happy i'm so yeah. happy that they've come at this price again like we said beforehand only rumors and speculation on the release that it'd be in november 10th and the series x price um even though like i say windows central are the ones who are reporting it i do trust windows central they've got a lot of stuff right 
beyond like before um yeah so yeah i'm i'm very excited we've got a few questions though crash um because yep. i was live on twitch.tv slash mc fixer as this was going on so we'll start at the top uh, this one was from troy 258 which says which company is going to reveal its price next sony or microsoft i generally believe Sony will now release the price of their digital one and not their their uh, one with the disc tray, just to just to play to play the game right now. I feel yeah. like that's where it goes. I that would be a super Sony move as well. Um, I I do think Sony will definitely announce something in response to this. Yeah, I don't know if it'll necessarily be a console price. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a console price, but maybe they have something else where they're like yeah, we still have something more to show or something along those lines. They will definitely respond in some sort of way to this because Microsoft, uh, Sony's been doing that a lot in general. Uh, Microsoft has an event. Sony does something the day after, the exact day. Yeah. Um, just so to get the, the conversation next... to move away from the compound. Yeah. Or even just to shoehorn themselves in the conversation where it's not just like sort of Microsoft having all the limelight at that point. Yeah. Um, Would you think... yeah. Would... Go on. Go ahead. I was, I was just gonna say what do you think of the look of the console obviously it's uh white with a black part where the fan sits yeah. clearly um standing upright it is tiny in comparison yeah. uh to the series x it can fit i think it can fit two of those in the series x two and a bit yeah. it looks like two yeah and the, the bit above yeah yeah so um, I, i'm really impressed with the, the the form factor of it it looks small it looks compact they're, yeah. they're they're saying it is the the smallest xbox ever so yeah that's dope i'm just i just uh why they make that part black why didn't they keep that belt white <laughs> design choice i think they wanted to play off of the top of the um other xbox that's green on top yeah. they didn't really have that room yeah. so they made it white i would have preferred like if they made it all black and had that part green um i, I thought it would have looked better i think this looks better in a home setup though right the I gamer it, me I likes the black and the green and i'm like oh that that'll look cool that's whatever but you could put the white on black and put it next to your tv on the tv stand and all that stuff and it fits in what well, uh, i think it will look so a lot better laying like... down i think it will look a lot better mm. laying down then it does stand yeah. up personally very possible as well yeah um because i yeah i don't know it just looks a little bit weird it does look like a bit of a walkie talkie <laughs> a walkie talkie a speaker i saw somebody <laughs> posting a washing machine and they post the washing machine and I'm like, oh it actually does kind of look like that yeah but we I have mean, a router a refrigerator and a washing machine for next gen consoles crazy crazy and they're probably they're still decent refrigerators worse than yeah. that <laughs> they still cost you more uh but yeah, yeah. i'm 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 excited. I'm very, 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 yeah. very, very, very excited. Yeah. I like, I, we've had conversations where I'm like, I don't know if I'm getting a day one, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. The, this is the perfect price point to buy in. And it is something that's temporary for me, but I could still see use beyond that, right? I well, move you, this to another room. I give it to somebody as a gift, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Um, I think it's that, that form factor of their, their, they've clearly listened to the market right which is yeah people like yourself people like mr moody people like i don't care about 4k i don't have a 4k tv i'm not planning on getting one why should i even bother with this next console they're like don't bother buy this console it's 300 pound or 300 dollars yeah. i should say we don't have a we do not have a pound com um confirmed price yet so we probably get cucks and it probably will be 300 pound um how much was the xbox for you guys the xbox one i don't know my community boy for me crash you know this i don't know how not much it costs series, not the series x i think the it was like 500 pound wasn't it i think it was with the connect i think um, it was 500 400 450 something like that 450 oh, so it was the same price as it was in america i believe so i think we got cucked again like that mm, okay so you think uh this will be 300 as well for you guys i think so yeah okay i'm okay with that yeah. though it annoys me but obviously but i'm okay with that brexit you know stuff happens. Yeah. <laughs> right um let's bring in some more questions so are you with me on that you think sony will put something out there next yeah they'll they'll do something they'll announce something it might not be price it might be who knows what it'll be something i i wouldn't i would assume it's gonna be priced but who knows how Sony wants to play this at this point, yeah. especially if they can't beat this price. They might want to be like, hey, look, we have even more games or whatever they whatever they have planned. Yeah. Uh, next one comes from Joanne8143 and says, Xbox Series X was supposed to be the cheapest option. Will Sony now undercut the discless PS5 to be the cheapest? No. No. I don't think so. The I think if anything, they'll go parallel and both be 300. Yeah. 
I, I don't think like I'm sure that even even with this not being a 4K console, Microsoft is taking a loss at pricing this at 300. I think and Sony, we don't know the specs of that. But if the specs are it has 4K, Sony would be taking such a big loss at pricing that 300, right? Well, that's the thing with the disc list. You've got to remember, the PS5 isn't the same thing as this. The PS5 yeah. is just a disc list PS5. So yeah. they're literally only going to probably cut about $50 on it. So it's no, yeah. if, if at its cheapest, it's, like I say, 350 I feel like. Yeah. I'd be yeah. shocked because the disc day don't cost you $100. No. I, I I'm sure they're gonna cut it even more than that just because they want to like sort of appeal to that cheaper crowd. If they get right? the PS5 digital at three hundred dollars, it's game over. Like that's yeah, that's that's, huge. that's ridiculous. That's huge. That's ridiculous. I would ex- I would expect it to be at four hundred. Yeah, maybe me too. Sony sees this and maybe Sony's like, okay, we got to bring it down a little bit and make it compatible with that. Or Sony's like, hey, our lineup's strong enough to be warrant it being at four hundred still, right? Yeah. So, yeah. but yeah. I just. Could you? We'll keep going. I'll, I'll speculate in a little bit, I guess. Okay. Um, uh, this one's from JJ uh, Ram. How do you say his name? I would just call him JJ. I don't want to pronounce it wrong. JJ Ramog, right? JJ Ramog. Okay. JJ Rog. Rog. I, I don't know. Yeah. I, would, I just call him JJ. You know. I call him JJ as well. Do you think the Series S will uh, will be digital only at MCP? So it doesn't look like there's a disc slot in its images. Yes, that's pretty much all confirmed. Um, at this point, it is going to be digital only, and I think it's smart. I think it's smart to have this out yeah. there on the market. I think with Game Pass being a thing, it and J Jamrog, J Jamrog. I got it. I got there. I got there. Um, yeah, I think it's smart for them to have a digital console then we are mo- we need to start getting people used to the fact that there is going to be a digital world going on so yeah. why not make this the point and i'm sure retailers are scared as hell and so they should be yeah. but that's where we're at right now that is where yeah. we're at right now and it's do you care about this still me personally no but i still have to buy certain games this or get sent for certain yeah. games this, so i have to have the this console plus just in case i buy a 4k crash i want to get into a little secret i just bought resident evil vendetta on blu-ray uh i totally know what that is it's the it's the anime version of it's this it's the anime version of resident evil films we've got distinction yeah, why would you assume got... that i knew that <laughs> Because you like to you like to poo on Resident Evil all the time. You should know at least what you're pooing. On. I I like the Resident Evil movies. No, they're, I'm done. Uh, I'm they're done. works of art. Let's move on. They're fantastic. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, Butter says. Uh, Butter seventy four says. Do you think this forces Xbox? Uh, forces Xbox had to give all the details for both at TGS. No. Nope. No. I don't, I don't think, think so they still announced anything at TGS. Yeah. No. Um, they've they've said what TGS is. I don't think they were planning on surprising anybody at TGS. I think if they planned on surprising somebody, they would have been quiet and not said anything. What I will say is I do think this appeals to the Japanese market, though, because, again, yeah. I think the big problem with the Xbox One original was had Connect with it, and it was a big, chunky thing. Japan yeah. are notoriously known to not have lots of space. So mm-hmm. that was automatically going to alienate that whole market, right? This is the smallest Xbox ever, it's it's definitely one of those things that i'm like damn this is a smart play so yeah i'm, I'm really i'm really looking forward to um so how are they doing japan I'm, we've got obviously scarlet nexus yeah. and the, the yakuza not yakuza uh, it is yakuza right like a dragon is that what it's called yeah yeah, yeah. yakuza like a dragon I think. yeah yeah it sounds about right i don't know yeah sure. it is right um i i think when x cloud hits it'll be really interesting to see how it does in japan because then it's like, oh, they have the Series S at home, and then when they go on, on the road, they have their phone with them, and they have xCloud available. Which we know how big the PSP was. So imagine yeah. that, but transferring that over to just your phone and yeah. um, a controller. That that It could be huge. It could be huge. Yeah. So. It could definitely take a slice of the pie, I feel like, finally. I feel like they're finally in a position where things are coming together enough that they're like yeah. being able to maybe chip away a little bit more. They don't even need to like really take a slice of like sony's pie or nintendo's pie no just the a pie market. they need to get their foot in there yeah. which is the really important thing right exactly um, so that if somebody's like i really like japanese uh games they don't look at xbox and like i could never get that console because it would alienate me from a whole laundry list of games that i, I really enjoy right yeah no exactly uh norza says do what do you think is 
more important, being first or being cheapest? I think being both is amazing. And I think that's what Xbox have done. It looks like on the surface level, that is what Xbox have done. Yeah. Is they are going to be the cheapest console on the next gen console on the market. And they've been able to not not on purpose, but they've been able to be leaked and confirm something first. But yeah. I think being if you're talking about release date, I think being first is more important than being cheaper. We yeah. have such uh impulse minds gamers yeah. and we just want the new thing unfortunately i will say as long as xbox doesn't come afterwards I, honestly like i think xbox just being cheaper is really important for it just because let's say xbox and sony come day and day sony's been rumored to have like um troubles manufacturing all this sort of stuff microsoft said they haven't well if we take them on their word at that they haven't i'm sure they have to a degree and they just don't want to say anything but if they haven't then logic would assume people try to get ps5s can't get ps5s what do i want i don't want to get a series x i don't really care about xbox like that but there is a cheaper alternative it's 300 bucks i can play next gen games that'll do until i can get my ps5 right yeah no and i think that's i think you're 100 percent right it's but that's fine for xbox right like, oh yeah we were they talk- just want people in their ecosystem we we're talking that's about what they want. we're talking about on unlocked as well where it's like we know that Sony have had really bad manufacturing issues, right? We don't know how many yeah. consoles, and we're all very concerned because we've not got pre-orders, and they're doing that weird pre-order thing in the US to register interest and things like that. It's like, yeah. could Xbox do really well just off the back of Microsoft not having enough units where people might look online and go, man, I want a PS5. Oh, they're not in stock. And yeah. it, now we have this information. It's like, oh, they're not in stock. Oh, this, I guess I can get the Series X. It's only 300 bucks. Yeah, and if that's it's like all, the, the movement, it's quite smart. It's also like really important to state that the fact that it's less powerful probably means it's also easier to manufacture. So you'd run into less issues. We could run into a case where the Series X is as hard to find as a PS5. True. But there is a cheaper alternative that probably is going to be, there's going to be more of them in the market more than likely. I'd right? expect it to sell more than the yeah. the X. Again, it's that thing they come back to with the, the uh, Elite controller. It's a luxury item. I feel like the xbox series x is now becoming the luxury item it's the ultimate edition it's the the x of the iphones right where like most people go for the s's a lot of people don't go for the the x's i think that's how they do the models again i don't remember and we don't like apple anymore but um but yeah like i just feel like if if i'm talking to if i'm talking to my friend mickey right he's like what console do i get for him i'm telling him to get a xbox series s all day long he doesn't care about 4K. He doesn't care about teraflops. He doesn't care about frame rate. Like, he wouldn't even know when a frame is bad, to be honest with you. Like, that is, I'm going to tell him to get that console. And for anybody yeah. that's entry level to buy their kids something, at $300, Crash. Christmas yeah, was... at $300 for the new yeah. Xbox? Going to be huge. Jeez. I was also going to say, like, a lot of people, I've seen so many comments about, like, oh, in relation to sony how this is but like a 300 hundred dollar console also makes it in relation to nintendo in a certain regard where it is a cheap console yes i just don't play games at a fairly high resolution I... i'm not saying that it it'll overtake nintendo i don't no. think that'll happen nintendo has their games and that's why they do big but it does put them in sort of that conversation where people are like well what's this cheaper like more kid-friendly console that Kid friendly might not be the right word, but when a parent goes parent in friendly like, for their wallet, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's like, oh, we have the Switch, we have the Xbox Series S, uh, you know, this one's three hundred, this one's whatever. I it just is. even take away the stores. I feel like just looking on Amazon. It's like, yeah, you put all of if you put them all together, and you go, which one do I buy? And you see the cheapest one. You're like, I could get him this and some toys. That's what and you're probably gonna do. Yeah. Maybe not even games, because probably X. The other stuff we've not mentioned um, is the all access stuff. I don't know if you saw that. Um, I think it's thirty something dollars a month. Oh for... yeah, thirty. It was thirty five for the Series X and twenty five for the Series S. Which is again rumors. We don't have that confirmed yeah. yet. That is strictly yeah, yeah. rumors. But all access is going to help a lot of people get next gen, yeah. right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Isn't, no. Do you think that's what you do? Uh, possibly, yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm I don't looking know. At Wario, I'd have Wario, to look into it and see how it is. Wero sixty four said Xbox Series X will have a thirty five pound a month plan for all access uh, financial options. Series S will be twenty five. Twenty five dollars yeah. a month for yeah. a Series S. 
Yeah, that's and then they're gonna crazy. have an upgrade. They're gonna have an upgrade thing at the end of that contract to get you into the Series X at yeah. another thirty-five. They say, or maybe they do a deal. It's thirty. Like, man, we're yeah. in a, we're in a different it's... world, man. Yeah, we're in a, we're it's in... such a. It'll be really interesting to see how this continues to play out for Microsoft and how these moves work for them, because it could have like huge implications to gaming and consoles going forward in general, right? Um, it could affect how Sony does next gen. It could affect what it won't affect what Nintendo does in the future. Let's no. be real. Nintendo's gonna do Nintendo. They don't. They don't care. Um, but yeah, it, it'll be really interesting. I also want to say horrible timing for Nvidia. Nvidia's probably looking at this and molding like we just announced our <laughs> graphics card for seven hundred bucks, and we were supposed to be compatible. To the still, sense I think they're still compatable. Consoles. I think I don't think a different 100%. market. It's very very. Different it it is a different market, but yeah. I saw quite a few people like. Why am I going to go into co- uh, the next gen gaming on um, PC when I can get a graphics card? That, that Granted, cheap. it's a graphics card without the rest of the PC, but still. Yeah. Um, I, saw, I, saw a, and... I saw a great tweet about that, about like, I don't know who it was that tweeted, but they like tweeted like a wire plugged into the GPU and then plugged into the TV and saying, since when was this available? The way people are talking is like, since when was yeah. this how you play games? Like absolutely, it's it's more than just the graphics card, but yeah, uh, yeah, no, um, I I think uh, crazy. It's it's so so crazy that this is actually three hundred bucks, you know? Yeah, definitely. Uh, next up, Canada Riot says, "What do you think is going to be the major difference between the Series S and the X? Four K, uh, future proofing for me. It's that that I know." This thing's not going to be able to do 8K. We know confirmed that the Series X can do 8K. I know we're nowhere near 8K. We're nowhere near ready for anything like that. But just saying, like, this thing won't be able to do that. Again, it's an entry level to next generation of gaming. And I, I think it's still yeah. going to be faster than the... It's definitely going to be faster than the Xbox One X. It's going to be good enough for a lot of casual consumers, in my opinion. Like, this yeah. isn't for everyone. It isn't probably for most people listening to this. I don't think this is going to be the console for them. I might be wrong about that. I don't know everyone's budgets. I don't know everyone's... But most people listening to my Xbox and me are hardcore gamers that probably own... Especially my Xbox and me, because we're not a fanboy podcast, right? We're like, we have a lot of people that listen to uh, play on PlayStation as well as... We both play on PlayStation as well as... Um, so yeah. I feel like it's... This isn't for us. But I do think yeah. it's one of the best marketing things they're going to have in their arsenal of full next yeah. gen. I feel like they're going to be able to say, when Phil's at E3 next year or wherever it is, and he comes out with, and we have the cheapest console on the market. Yeah. That's such a big, big statement to make. Yeah. So. It, a- absolutely. Right. They open up with that statement. They end that statement. They'll probably remind you a few times that throughout the, the show. Yeah. Um, It's huge. It's huge. It's, it's not just big for like the Sony fans who never really had a chance to get into Xbox and they're looking at it and they're like, I could get a one X at this point, but, but I'm not going. Well, they're at they're, they're literally coming out of stock. They're not even uh, developing yeah. anymore. So I, I meant more so like an Xbox One or One S. Like, what's the point? And then this comes out, and they're like, "Oh, I could play the Series X games in 1080p and all that, and not that well, many." Not like, 1080p. I know 440p. I feel like that's that's going to well, be that's the... not confirmed. Okay, um, but this they say that let's go off of we think it's confirmed, right? If it is 440p. I am. I've got a four hundred. I've got one hundred and sixty-five hertz yeah. monitor now. It is such a big step. It is yeah. such a big step. But, you're, you're, it's crazy. Yeah, but I think the important thing is like not not as many people as you would assume care about resolution like that. They care that their console that their console is capable of doing it. They don't really care about four K, right? Because I see people I, I talking about. I see people talking about, oh, I got an Xbox One X, or oh, oh I'm going to get a PS5. It's got 4K. They don't have a 4K monitor. No, but I think, like I've said to you plenty of times before with me, it's like I always want the best thing. I always want to know that I can upgrade. And even with this, I feel like this is still yeah. upgradable. You can still go from a 1080p monitor to a 144p monitor. Again, rumored, we don't know. But if that is the case, that is still a next generational jump. Like when I got my monitor, from the community for my birthday, I couldn't believe how much better everything looks. It's ridiculous. Like, ridiculous how much better everything yeah. looks. So, just want to put that out there. So, Oh, I, I mean, absolutely. I think that goes back to, like, the whole frame thing, where people are like, oh, 30 frames are fine, 30 frames are fine, until they see 60 frames, and they're like, 
why is my game so slow now? Yeah. Why is it 30 frames? This is this is not how games are supposed to be. I think it's that thing with Avengers. Look at Avengers right now, right? It's like if we're gonna get a yeah. solid frame rate on this new generation of consoles as well, yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take oh, it. Absolutely. I'll take it. Absolutely. Uh, next question comes from Full Metal eight one one eight, and he says, "Do you think Sony will price match Microsoft?" No, I don't. Sony are not in the same position as Microsoft when it comes to um just profits that their yeah. so playstation is their most profitable branch of sony microsoft yeah. isn't even an ant on it on microsoft like i'm sorry xbox isn't yeah. even an ant on microsoft like it makes enough money it does its thing but yeah. it's not Where they're like we'll put we'll give you some <laughs> we'll give you some play money well, and like if you see them buying all those studios you'd like oh they're spending so much money to microsoft as a whole that's probably like here's like some here's here's your allowance for the year you know yeah it really isn't that much in the grand scheme of them so scheme of things so they're more willing to take a loss in certain regards right exactly exactly um it's that yeah it's just that they're two different companies with two different methods of doing things and i feel like that is where it's at so man we're just gonna have to wait and see on it it's so interesting so so interesting no format i don't think uh, there'll be any price mm-hmm. matching. I don't think Sony can afford to lose. Microsoft can afford to lose money on the console. Sony cannot. Period. End of story. Like not they cannot in like not as much money. I should say not they cannot. They're gonna lose money on the yeah. console as much money. The amount they're willing to lose isn't yeah. as much. Yeah. Xbox are now making another play to get into everybody's homes without marketing it like that. With yeah. this console, with this console, I feel like that's what they're doing. So. Next one comes from I am the game 13 and says November 10th would mean that games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Cyberpunk can hit next gen release day and date. Is this a real possibility or will we have to wait for next gen versions of these games? I generally think it might be a real possibility and I think that's why we're not understanding the lineup as like you know my whole conversation has been we're not we don't get i don't understand what's launch line i don't understand what's launch line i don't understand this if they're saying uh, with the series x especially let's talk about that for instance 500 dollars plus on day one you can play cyberpunk you can play assassin's creed valhalla you can play drift free which are all the games they have their third party market in it would make a lot more sense but right now it doesn't because we don't know the release date yeah i i think one thing we just have to uh clear up is that i don't think we get the next version the next gen versions of the game day one okay yeah I, I think we get the upgraded versions playable on the series x the uh the smart delivery and all that stuff i don't think we necessarily get the upgraded versions day one i'm gonna disagree with you i'm gonna feel like i'm gonna say this was why i don't understand this is why i don't get that we're only getting games like um scorn medium scarlet nexus i'm not saying these are all launch tile but launch window right uh call of sea second extinction yakuza like i'm i'm gonna say that we are gonna get these next gen versions on day one and that's why microsoft don't feel like they need the first party the way they have because valhalla is gonna sell gangbusters can they get people to buy it on that system cyberpunk is gonna sell gangbusters can they get Mm. it to sell on that system and they're gonna treat those games as if they were first party in the way that they promote with their marketing and which which, again would be genius it would make perfect sense but we don't know yet because we don't know the release date (laughs) i have a question then go on is microsoft's somewhat lack of promoting cyberpunk as an xbox game up until now like they still haven't like we've seen it in a few a few moments whenever we see cyberpunk we'll generally see an xbox logo go but it doesn't feel like they've pushed it super hard do you think they're doing a disservice to themselves or do you think they go harder the closer they get to release i think the closer we get to release the harder they go i think we're also the ones that pay for youtube premium so we don't see the ads we have prime on we have prime on x on twitch so we don't see the ads neither of us watch traditional tv uh... so we don't see ads as much as i love to like they're not promoting it hard enough i don't see ads (laughs) i i need people in the community who watch tv who don't have a YouTube premium, who don't have Prime, who see ads all the time. Do you guys see Cyberpunk Xbox ads and uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla Xbox ads? I don't think they do yet. Yeah. So, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. But we'll see. We will see. Last question, Crash. 
Norza says, do you think Microsoft leaked this intentionally because they found out the PS5 was priced higher? No. No. I don't. No. I, I think Microsoft just rolled with it really well. Um, I, I think, is there a possibility? There's a possibility, of course. You know, you, you don't know what they decide to do, but I, I don't think so. I think, um, I think if they did, they did it in a genius way where they released it at night. By the time people woke up, it was trending. In the UK, by the time people wake up in America, it'll be trending for them yep. still. Um, I think it would have been a genius move. I don't think this was purposeful, yeah. but I think they're probably looking at it right now like, huh, maybe we should have done this. I think it's like people are so hungry for next-gen news. So hungry. And now we have some. We know the price of one of the consoles. We've seen it. Like, you don't really usually announce a console just by an image. That's not usually how these things go. So again, I want to applaud Xbox so much for what they've done, confirming it. We know an event is coming very soon now because we've seen the video type thing that got leaked. I'm re- I'm ready. I'm ready, Crash. Give me this next yeah. gen. Give it yeah. to me. No. Um. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I am excited for this. Uh. Dude, three hundred bucks. Three hundred to, to get your door to get your foot into next gen. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. Thank you all for watching. Again, let's plug, plug, plug and get ourselves out of here. Crush, where can the people find you? Uh, on Twitter, at Crush Nick Place. You can follow me there. I tweet out dumb stuff sometimes. Sometimes Xbox stuff. Sometimes I just make fun of Fix. That's true. Very true. Yeah. Most of the time, actually. Most <laughs> of the time. Uh, if you haven't watched the Don't Nod as uh, brand new Tell Me Why spoiler cast, please go check it out on oh, YouTube. Such a good conversation. YouTube.com slash my Xbox and me. Uh, the audio wasn't good enough to go up on you on the audio of the podcast feed, so we've exactly put it on YouTube for everyone to watch. Um number two will be out this week and number three will be back again. Thank you all again so much uh, for listening. The numbers from last week's show was amazing. You can find me everywhere at MC Fixer, on Twitch, on Twitter, YouTube. I've got my personal channel, which I'm pushing for 4K on. So if you've not subscribed to my personal YouTube channel, I really would appreciate if you go and check it out. YouTube.com slash MC Fixer. And for people who want to know how to say my name properly, it's not MC, it's just Fixer. Until next time, I will love you, leave you, and see you all later. Goodbye. Goodbye.